everyone, Mike Vogel here for the Monumental Network, joined by Caps' fifth round pick, 134th overall, Shane Gersich from Minnesota. And Shane, uh, do you have an indication that, that the Caps had some interest in you after your in interview with them at the Combine? Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, when teams come up that you, you've talked to, you get uh, a little bit on the edge of your seat, but uh, at the same time, you never know what's going to happen. Like, uh, like you said, I talked with them at the Combine, so I mean, I maybe thought something, but you never know, so. How many teams do you think you uh, spoke with or interviewed with uh, throughout the process here? Yeah, uh, obviously be, coming from the national program, uh, a lot of teams come in there and interview a lot of guys. Uh, we have a lot of top, top end guys there, so uh, teams come through and they can interview, you know, whoever they want, I guess. So I'm, I'm not sure how many, but there's, there's quite a few that came through there for sure. You guys uh, from the development team must have had quite a posse here this week. Yeah. Uh, I think eight of the first 80 picks were from development team, yeah. three in the first, three in the second, and, and they just continue all through. Have you guys had a good time uh, together here this week? Yeah, I think uh, obviously it's been good. Uh, it was a great year there. Uh, I couldn't have asked for uh, a better ending, obviously winning the U18 Worlds. And uh, like you said, uh, a lot of picks coming from there. There's a lot of great players, so it's it's been good. I think there, there were some people who thought you were maybe buried a little bit on the depth chart there at the development team. Do you feel like uh, playing for Omaha in the year ahead maybe will give you a chance to spread your wings a little bit and have a bigger role? Yeah, I think obviously uh, having a bigger role next year, it's going to be my, I guess, second year in the league. And uh, uh, obviously, I hopefully have a bigger role and uh, you know, play maybe some penalty, uh, power play and more opportunity, I guess. so. What um, went into your decision to uh, to go to North Dakota the, the year after? Yeah, uh, obviously I've got some bloodlines with uh, Minnesota, with my dad and uh, all three of my uncles. So, but uh, they pretty much left it up to me. I think it was uh, the right place to play. All everything is so professionally done there, and uh, all the coaches uh, definitely know what they're doing, and uh, they're they're top end at developing players too. So it's it was a good choice. What uh, what aspects of your game do you do you feel are your your greatest strengths right now, and what areas do you feel like you need to work on? Just yeah, to... I think obviously I'm not the biggest guy, so obviously putting on some muscle and uh, working on the little things. I think uh, obviously getting better defensively and just you know working on a lot of things. And uh, as far as my strengths, I think my speed is my biggest strength, and uh, uh, I think I'm a skill forward, but I think I can play with an edge too. So. Any player in the NHL today that you maybe like to pattern your game after or consider yourself somewhat akin um, to? Yeah, I think obviously since uh, Parisi came to the Minnesota, I've got to watch him a little bit more. Uh, he's just so good at everything, and uh, he's pretty gritty, and uh, he works so hard out there. So I think him for sure. John Gruden played a little bit with the Caps about a decade ago. Yeah. Maybe uh, give him a call today yeah. and pick his brain a little yeah, bit. Yeah, maybe a little bit. He's a good guy. Uh, he's been great this year, so I don't know, maybe a little bit. <laughs> Uh, looking forward, I guess, uh, 10 days or so from now, Caps have their annual summer development camp. You plan on being uh, in attendance at that? Yeah, I think, uh, I don't know, I think that's a plan. Uh, uh, if, if that's a plan, I'll be there for sure. Look forward to seeing you. Thanks for sh thanks to Shane Gersich for spending yeah. some time with us today on the Monumental Network.